but we wanted to find out what it really means to win the Graffiti Rock Challenge, so we spent some time with last year's winners, the Ultimatics. And here they are, one year later. Hi, we're in Oakland with the Graffiti Rock Challenge finals right around the corner. We thought we'd stop in and say hello to last year's winners, punk rock band The Ultimatics. We're at the Oakland Beehive. Classic punk attitude. They don't really, uh, they don't care about anything. Awesome! Did you feel you were the dark horse of the rock challenge? I don't even remember any of the other horses, actually. <laughs> I didn't even know we were in it. I found out while we were on stage at the 31st Street Pub. Terry was like, yeah, we're going to need your guy's support in the Rock Challenge. I said, so what are you talking about? I turned around to Andrew and said, what's he talking He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, man. We got accepted. I was like, I didn't even know you mailed anything, man, you know? <laughs> made me feel good about it was we sort of represented the underground bands and, and I, I tried to when I was on stage remember those folks and, and kind of shout out some names and because and, and, all those bands really deserve to be there before it actually happened I'm like well you know what we'll see what happened but as it as it drew closer and uh, I was like you know what we, we just might we just might win this because uh, we stuck out you know I think just our, our uh, energy our energy level sort of uh, did it for us. A, a friend of ours says that we bullied it. I kind of like that. <laughs> Winning the 60 hours and going to uh, Mr. Smalls was just, it was, it was exciting, I think. Uh, and, and also challenging in the respect that, as you know, um, in mid-1999, mid, uh, we lost our dear friend Ray Shimoleski. He was found in Amsterdam, so, you know, I guess he just, you know, got to Amsterdam and seeing how nice it was and took it a step further, I don't know, you know. We, I, we really don't know, you know. Tonight we found out, we got together, we're like, look, you know, we got to carry this on. It's that it just doesn't. It doesn't. It wouldn't make sense not to. Yeah. It would have been an easy way, an easy way to just crumble in the in the face of adversity. And nah, it's not gonna happen. From the point of his death on until we found Matt, or his replacement. Um, I mean, I hate to say it that way, replacement. Hey, you really can't replace Ray, but we needed to get another guy to join the group. And until that time. Uh, we didn't really write any new songs. We just kind of tried to keep the keep the momentum going. This is called Public I. <laughs> Tell me how you got the, you got the gig. Um, I don't know, I just, uh, I bugged them guys until they let me come over and do an audition. And, um, you know, when I did, they were, they seemed to be pretty impressed. And uh, I did my homework and I knew all the songs were good. So, you know, they just said, you're in. I think if you go into the Rock Challenge with a non-competitive attitude, uh, I, I think if you go in and just trying to do the best you can, entertain, show what you show what you do, be yourself, things will be all right. I didn't think we could win. I didn't think. I thought it was fixed from the beginning. I didn't. Never thought we could walk away with the first prize. So maybe it's not so bad. What was the best part about winning the Rock Challenge? Playing it. Definitely. Playing is always the best, as far as I'm concerned. That's the reward in itself. It's been an enriching experience. It's one I'll, I'll probably never forget. 